back to back within a couple days of each other. Down here at the South Sandwich Islands, marked in this red color, and here off the coast of Chile, right next to the Argentina border, both 6.1s. Then, last night, or yesterday afternoon, a new 6.3 hit, and this is at our other letter X, so really right next to both X's we got. All right, so there's a whole bunch of earthquakes happening, uh, for sure, just like I said. Uh, 53 images to go through today. Here we go. So last time I touched on the Temple of Solomon, okay, um, which sort of seems like here it is. They give it to you number one in the map. So here it is here. But then I found it here on this map. I'll show you. It's the exact same building. So... This one has a Muslim roof on it, and this one doesn't. And I can't, I, I haven't even gone back to, uh, you know, uh, cross-reference the dates on these. But here it is here, like this. And then we have those guys. Here's, this is a different map. And here we have the exact same. This is Jerusalem, the gate that I was referencing. But here we have it like that. Temple of Solomon. So that's all I was pointing to here, <laughs> referencing some screenshots that I took for you. Here it is again with the Pyramid, Sinai, Gomorrah. It's the same map, I suppose. Up top, the very top in the top of the map, you'll see stuff like this. Buildings and whatnot in the background, too. And, uh, so, okay. I suppose this is the shot that got me going with this show today. It's going to be a short one. Just trying to understand what's going on in this shot. So you have, like, the facade on this side of the wall. And then it's as if someone built a wall beside the entrance and then built a wall like an arch on top in front of the arch and then back here you have like it's almost as if this building is chopped in two or you have just the skeletal structure of the dome so just an interesting shot not even sure exactly where I'm and I'm just showing you this because Excuse me, I'm drinking fake beer. But it's to kind of show you that these structures simply add a facade to them and then you make your own arch. And I think that's what we're looking at here. I'm not even sure why they would build it this way. But I suppose it makes more sense on the other side. So anyway, so that got me to thinking about the giant doorways that we see. And so this is literally just a couple of days research. It's been a really hectic week. Uh, and um, I haven't had much time to do the research. But here it is. Uh, the huge arching doorways and the steps going all the way down to the Colosseum. So-called Colosseum. Just that it could have been used for other things, Antiquitech, uh, and then you have all the statues down here lined up. Could be just putting them into place or taking them out. Not looking good. Very, very few people around here. I'm just trying to get a couple of tighter screenshots for you of the same photo there. So here's also what I mean when you have an existing building you could build a wall around it to make it more solid I suppose uh, reinforce it or to add like a hallway between the two to encapsulate another building and perhaps put a you know a roof on that so in this instance it would appear that that would make sense that this would be a canal coming out of there some sort of if it was a water storage thing turbine perhaps or just natural flowing 
filtration system where the water would come out at the other end and you know so now here I did I was just looking up some cross-referencing uh, this book here the dictionary theologic historic poetic once you get at one of those books I find you go up to right here this little uh, you know you look up Tartary or something like that in a book that you found like from the 14th century and sometimes it'll come up here if you specifically look in that book for the term. So anyway, that's what I'm doing here. Alexander the Great, etc. And always seems to come up Meg and, and Gog, Magog. Okay, just keeps coming up. So anyway, here's one for you. Right? Pretty elaborate. But, like, what? why are there door knockers way up here? Why? For giants, for giant people, that's why. Not for show. Looks like they cut the door out of the original door. That's probably what you would do. You just cut a hole, cut your own doorway out. Or add something to the face to make it the door appear smaller. So, even in this case, they could have covered up this top section. Could have been arcing all the way around. Could have been even taller. Okay, it wouldn't be hard to fake that because that arch looks like it's been cut off. So that's kind of what I'm leading. I'm, you know, here's a, a shot. I tried to clean it up. You can see that this part of the doorway is just like, cross hatch made of wood or something and this one perhaps they had one in place for little people but mostly the big doors were used I would assume I don't know I mean like it looks like they actually have been used like they have yeah, patin uh, the uh, patina right on there you know just like the bottom ones so here the door is open and you can see the door goes beyond the arch, goes from the inside, could be much taller. So here, some movement with people actually, but here I was looking at this formation going some doesn't seem right there. Uh, looks like the form, the foundation of another building, perhaps, was there. But pretty, pretty clever building there. Spain. But again, we get these really suspicious guys always in there, looking straight into the camera, and no one else. Mud flood, mud flood evidence, I suppose. I mean, look at the street. How do you, how do you explain that away? How the street goes up and down, and it wouldn't. No one would build it that way, and it looks too top heavy. That one it goes down further down. Obviously, <sighs> okay. Even if these boys were only four or five feet tall, look at the size of the door knockers. I mean, look at the knockers on that, as they used to say. But even again, you notice how the arch comes around and the door goes behind it. Could be even bigger than that. This one, I doubt it. But who would make such huge, in, in huge proportions like that? You got to think the previous... Civilization was just giants. And like 
I, I, this isn't even like some, you know, uh, hardcore research that I did. I just kind of fell into this one. So here, this is all Spain and Portugal. Again, you see the door that they cut out, man door. I suppose you could get a carriage through there. That's the idea, but that not in this type of building. Why would you want to bring a carriage through here? You know, that would make no sense. Antiquitech on top of the building, this one. I mean, why would you put a lightning rod like that? Give me a break. It's not a lightning rod. A pagoda. Here are the Tartarian bricks going up the corners. Striped. Looks to be mud flooded. Huge, huge doors. So that's all I'm saying in this video, okay? Is it's, even this door here is huge. It could have been even larger because look at right here on this corner. You take that corner out, boom, take that little arch out of the way, and it's probably even twice as high. <clears throat> I mean, you can almost look inside there and see how high that goes. So making no sense there. That's at the front gate. Again with the huge, huge doors. Okay, like this fence, here's a here's a guy. He comes up even if he is a little guy, I don't know if he's he doesn't look to be a child. Teenager. Whatever. He's gotta be at least five feet tall. So the top of this goes nine feet. And the top of this door would be about 18 feet, I would think, 20 feet high. Could have been, you take out these two pillars here, move the door out to that level, and it would have gone even higher. That's my point. You know, the light posts, all around the world, exactly the same. How do you explain away, you know, not looking too happy in this one. Incredible, incredible, t you know, look at the top on that thing. Ocular, oculus, round windows heading out like that. My God, man. Here it is. A few people there anyway. My goodness. Top of the pagoda, here's a nice one from the backside. All kinds of stuff in there, man. Holy moly. There it is. Lookity look look, eh? Huh. The window right here. Iron bars going across there. You know, obviously no one's gonna break into that church that way. So that uh, those iron bars are obviously Look at the one eye there. Holy smokes. Spires galore. You know, it's just like, oh, here they are right here to the energy gathering little. Deserves a little moment of our time, <laughs> y'all. Is all. Is all I'm saying. For today, not too heavy duty. Info bombs, bombshells. Just looking at some of this brickwork and this is like blended with the iron so perfectly. It's hard to tell which is what, it, what we're looking at here. Now, this door seems to be bricked up from behind, too. This would be more of a proper door, like you could see the keystone. And I think I got this one because this one appears to be bricked up. But look upstairs, it's as if we're like missing out on the whole show. It's 
It's incredible. Once you look at it a little closer, right? So. We're moving to the end of the uh, photos, guys. I uh, found this one, just, you know, blew it up and took a photo. They look to be, well, this is Spain, so I guess they are Spanish, but they, you know, this looks like immigrant brought in from somewhere else to work here, clean this up. Alongside of this massive, massive building. They can't even build this today. <laughs> These guys are like just out of their element. What can I say? Fish out of water. Asleep at the switch or hiding, not sure. <sighs> so yeah, more giant arches. Uh, obviously, we got to look more into this lamppost that you find worldwide everywhere. The same in Paris, the same in North America. These huge arches for huge people. That's pretty much the video. There's the uh, book. Y'all have a good day.